Good morning everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today's video is going to be another DIY and I'm actually participating in one of my favorite challenges hosted by the DIY Mommy and this is the Fall DIY and Decor Challenge. I'm sure you all have heard of her and love her channel but if you haven't I will have it listed in the description box below. I actually did three DIYs, but for some reason, some of the footage just disappeared. It was no longer on my camera or my computer. The ones that I was able to show you what I did were these um, DIY acorns and these um, fall covered books, which was very simple. And I was actually inspired to do these acorns by some that I saw when I was at a consignment shop recently. So, I decided to use some Easter eggs that I had on hand because they were kind of the shape that I wanted and I just went ahead and sprayed them. These are the colors that I used. I wanted more, um, more like natural colors-ish. I guess um, bronze, I guess copper and black aren't really natural colors but um, they're really pretty for fall anyway. So I did a gray, black, iodized bronze, and copper. And then um, you can use any ribbon or rope or twine that you want. And you're also going to need pine cones, which after trying this kind of pine cone, it didn't work out very well. I was pulling and tugging <laughs> and they were just breaking. They would not release from this pine cone for some reason. So you're gonna wanna go back to the bigger ones which I don't have a lot of these around my yard, but I had this one in my fall stash. So I just started yanking on the little pieces and I had to get the players and start pulling on them. So first I started off with the gray egg and you can use, like I said, any color you want. And I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to secure these, um, these little pieces from the pine cones and you're just going to kind of layer them on top of each other and stagger them um, kind of to give it that uh, acorn top look. This one I did, it was a little bit taller than I wanted to do, but I still think it turned out kind of cute and unique. And then for the top pieces, all I did was um, bend them, like bend the top part, not where you glue, but the top part, bend it so that it kind of gives you a flatter surface on the top to um, glue the rest on so that it's um, covered and rounded. And then you can just use the same stem from the pine cone and glue that on top. And make sure you pull those little hot glue strings off. And then for the black one, I thought I wanted a little bit of pop of color on there. So I did the gold ribbon. And same thing here, just hot glued it. And um, you're going to want to probably just do little dots of hot glue because I, you know, went around the whole egg when I was doing it. And you can see the um, dried hot glue after you're done. And then once you get to the top, just leave a little hole so you can put the stem in and then hot glue and wrap the ribbon around um, the stem. And because I could see all that hot glue mess, I'm just going to go ahead and do a second layer of the ribbon and try and do a little bit less of the hot glue so you can't really see it. And for this next one, I wanted um, more texture, kind of like those ones I showed you in the picture in the beginning. So I'm gonna take some twine and do like a little loop and glue it on this way. And after I was finished, I thought um, when I have time next time, I'm going to actually add some more layers just like these 
um, you know, the same loops and stuff, but a little bit shorter so that it kind of um, gets smaller as it gets to the top, but I want more of the egg covered. But for this, I'm just showing you one layer of it. And you're just going to hot glue them all the way around. Here I'm just um, making sure all the pieces are the same size. And then I actually ended up just um, after I used all those up, just using um, the twine connected to the, um, you know, the whole bunch and just doing like little swirls and gluing it that way. And then you can put a stem on this one too, but I just used the, tw the excess twine on the top and kind of um, twirled it up. And like I said, I'm going to add some more layers of it so it looks more finished. For the next copper one, I just took some gold ribbon because I wanted a little bit of sparkle to this one too, and just wrapped it halfway up the top of the egg. And then I did the same thing with the pine cone and added more of the pieces, just like we did on the other one for the acorn topper. And same thing when you get to the top, kind of fold them so that you have a flat surface on the top. And go ahead and secure a stem on there. And this is what they look like finished. And here's where my footage got lost. I just used some, um, some shirts that I was going to give to Goodwill and books that I was gonna to give to Goodwill and I just decided to use them for this project. And you just cut them to cut the fabric to size. And here you can use, um, you can use Mod Podge if you want to secure the fabric onto the books, but I am all out. So just for the purpose of showing you what to do, which it's very, very simple. Anybody can figure out. I just went ahead and used hot glue cause it's what I had and just make sure it's secure on there. And like the other books I've shown you in previous videos, you just glue down the edges on the inside. I'll show you just a picture of that. Like I said, I'm sorry if for some reason the footage, I don't know, got deleted, I guess. Oh, and I also wanted to show you the last shipment I got from Antique Candle Company. Like I said, I've said a million times in my other videos, I really, really love these candles because they don't bother my throat or my head. It doesn't bother my son at all. But anyway, this shipment came with the, um, the one that I've been waiting for by, um, I don't know if you've seen her blog or her Instagram, but um, Sarah Joy. She partnered with Antique Candle Company and came up with this warm caramel crumble candle which I've been dying to try and it smells so good anyway I just wanted to show you those in case you're interested in getting some I will have the link in my description box below this autumn woods candle which I didn't realize I would be getting and it smells really really good my husband likes this it's more of a manlier autumn scent but not too much if you know what I mean and here's everything and how I decorated with them I hope you like this and thanks so much to DIY mommy for hosting this challenge I will have the playlist listed in the description box and I will see you guys next time bye